Hello and welcome to episode 3 of the Daniel Ricciardo career mode. As you can see after the first two rounds we're sitting nice and pretty third in the Drivers' Championship and third in the Constructors' Championship as well. Um, I do apologise about my voice, I'm not feeling very good today. In practice we finished P6 uh, behind Nico Rosberg who was in fifth who only set a quick lap on the prime tyres. So Rosberg looking like in a good position. And if we look at the results from Q1, we, we qualified 7th in Q1, but um, that was on the primes. And Mary, Stevens, Naza, Alonso and Ericsson all uh, didn't make it into Q2. So we now uh, our one and only, start our one and only lap in Q2. You can see we've got in the mirrors, we've got uh, Kimi Raikkonen in the Ferrari, kind of stalking us through the lap. And we gave him a nice, uh, nice tow. Um, as you can see now we've come to the end of the lap and we're going to open the DRS and see where it's going to put us it's going to put us P3 so all of a sudden we found a little bit of pace on the option tyres but look at that, Vettel and Hamilton both qualified on the prime tyre and uh, Button, Grosjean, Sainz, Maldonado and Verstappen all missed out as you can see we're coming to the end of our first lap in Q3 uh, we got Kimi Raikkonen behind us again, and we really helped Kimi Raikkonen because this was Kimi's fastest lap, and he got a mighty toe, an almighty slipstream uh, behind us throughout the whole lap, especially down this back straight. And so uh, we kind of helped Kimi out a bit uh, in qualifying uh, as we now come through the final corner. Now we, I think we took the bollard out, and it's just pushed us wide a little bit, and we're going to come across the line to put us P3 again. Um, we're now going to start our final lap right at the end of the session. Three laps of fuel, uh, rich mix, and we're going to see what we can do as we fly into turn one now. Under steering a little bit wide, this lap, it was our fastest lap, but it was a bit of a scruffy lap. Um, as we do hit the apex of turns one and two, but we suffered with understeer a little bit. I think that was our main problem. We were running 1-1 one -one wings uh, to get the straight line speed because of our Renault power unit uh, issue, so we did compromise on the downforce a little bit as we now come through into turn 6. We struggled at this corner, not as much as turns 1 and 2, uh, but that was the probably the only time in the weekend we got our braking points spot on. Um, we now come through the high uh, the high speed left um, right hand, and we kind of struggled uh, with under, understeer through both of those, but uh, we seem to have sorted that out for this lap, and then this double left hander struggled all, week all weekend there. We did run a little bit wide, lose a little bit of time uh, out there. As we now come uh, into the final sector, as you can see, we're down um, on our on our first lap at the moment. We are slower, about two tenths down. Um, as we now come through this snail kind of long right hand, uh, struggle through there as well, running out wide a little bit. The understeer was the main killer, and then we're down the coming down the longest straight in Formula One uh, towards the uh, the hairpin at the end of the lap. Um, and this, this braking zone is a nightmare to find. I, I, you know, even though I run the braking line on there, just so I can see my braking point, I still seem to get it wrong, as you can see there. As uh, we're now going to come through the final corner. Um, yeah, we did take out the bar. It looked like run a little bit wide, open the DRS, and it's going. Uh, we are going to improve slightly, but it keeps us only P3. Rosberg takes pole from Raikkonen and Hamilton. Driving one of those Mercedes to the top of the timesheets in qualifying was Germany's Nico Rosberg. He'll have made quite a few people sit up and take notice with that performance, not least his teammate Lewis Hamilton. He's definitely going to be difficult to beat today, but anything can happen, so we'll have to keep a close eye on how this unfolds over the course of the race. Kimi Raikkonen has been outperforming his fellow world champion teammate throughout this weekend so he'll hope to continue doing so through the race this afternoon. The first person any Formula 1 driver wants to beat is his teammate. And never has that been truer than at Ferrari where we've seen a sizzling intra-team rivalry between two ex-world champions. Lights out and away we go here for the Chinese Grand Prix. We've had a half decent start. It looks like we had a better start than the, uh, Kimi Raikkonen's Ferrari as we head towards a short run towards turn one. Kimi defends the inside line. We're going to try and go around the outside. We've got Lewis Hamilton on our inside. So we've got to watch out for Lewis Hamilton who of course is on the prime tyre as uh, we kind of dive it up the inside. Lewis should have really have run us out and uh, taken third place and it's now left him in the clutches of Valtteri Bottas as we're going to see and try and do a dive bomb on Kimi Raikkonen. We break late and we have hit Kimi Raikkonen in the fin uh, and we've kind of barged our way past Daniel Ricciardo style the Honey Badger strikes again. But look at the lead that Nico Rosberg has already. It's just incredible. That Mercedes um, 
is so, so quick um, as we've got a wheel in the air as we come through the, uh, as we're halfway through the middle sector now of this first lap and we have got Kimi right behind us, he'll be looking to strike I think down down the longest straight in Formula 1, down the back straight as we seem, and as, uh, we kind of hit the apex a little bit, but we are running a little bit wide, we didn't run too wide onto the curb a bit and uh, I think we could be vulnerable to Kimi Raikkonen as we come down this back straight. Kimi will want to get us back, obviously, because of the way we kind of rudely barged past him at the end of the first sector. As, uh, but it looks like we seem to have the straight line speed at the moment. The one more wing is definitely helping us out a little bit as we get our braking point right down into the uh, into the penultimate corner. But Rosberg leads by about two seconds, I think it is, as. Um, as we come through the final corner and we've got Kimi just waiting to pounce a little bit. Uh, but yeah, um, we had a good start to the race and um, ideally we wanted to make up positions. Ideally we would have liked to have had a slightly better start, got up to first, but uh, you know, just getting P2 seemed uh, difficult enough, especially with uh, we were kind of having to defend from uh, Hamilton uh, at the same time. As we now uh, look at uh, the replays of the start on the cinematic view, uh, as, you, uh, as you can see we've got a bit of a wild force India of, I believe, Sergio Perez weaving around a little bit. As, as we can now see, Hamilton had his nose at the inside and really should have pushed us out wide, really, I think. It, it might have been Hamilton, that's what I might have done, but uh, he left us the room, we dived at the inside and it left a gap for Valtteri Bottas to slip up the inside of Lewis Hamilton, who... Um, Another th reason why we, it was so important to get to stay ahead of Hamilton was because he's on the prime tyre, and uh, there's us kind of locking up and barging into uh, Kimi Räikkönen. As we can now see the start from Lewis Hamilton, look at the start that he gets, despite being on the hard, the harder compound, the medium compound tyres. And uh, we break a little bit later than him into turn one. There was, little, uh, I think, there might have been marginal uh, contact. Uh, I don't recall there being contact, but it looks like there might have been. And uh, it leaves us the gap, and hello, Valtteri Bottas. Uh, a little bit, a little bit of a cheeky move from Valtteri Bottas. And Bottas there, but you got, you got to take him. You've got to take him. Excuse me. And uh, look at this. It's going side by side. It's still, as we, uh, as you can see, we've just barged past Kimi Raikkonen. As uh, I remember when I was looking through the replay cameras, I, I saw this at the start, and I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It looks like Lewis has got the move done. He's up into fourth place. But wait for it. But oh no. No, Valtteri Bottas is still there. He's hanging it around the outside and then gets the superior traction and takes the place. Takes a fourth place away from Lewis Hamilton. So Lewis is losing, uh, has lost a place off the start. And here's the uh, view from Valtteri Bottas. And as you can also see, it's quite dark, quite overcast. Um, here in Shanghai and that's because um, the engineer told me uh, halfway through lap one that rain is expected in five minutes so there will be rain in this Chinese Grand Prix uh, as, a, you can, as we, we're going to have a perfect view when we're locking up and uh, bumping into Kimi Raikkonen as uh, there was contact in fact between Hamilton and Bottas as uh, Valtteri was kind of scrambling around the outside and this is incredible watching these two go side by side through this you never see it in real life for a minute it's impossible to go side by side but somehow somehow Bottas has done it then sticks his nose back up the inside says no Lewis I am having this position and uh, well and there he is taking the place something else uh, I need to point out is, is once it cuts back to us is that there's no hood for the first half of the race and that's because um, I, I lost the first half of the footage, so up until that pit stop, uh, we're having to use the replay camera. Um, so obviously it's going to make my job a little bit more difficult because I don't know what lap everything is on. But uh, the second half of the race, we do. I, I actually managed to salvage the footage, so uh, we do have the footage from there. As when uh, when I think this is about lap three, lap two, lap three. As uh, we've got Kimi going around, having a look around the outside, but we've got our braking point all wrong, and as you can see, there are spots of rain starting to fall on screen. Uh, Kimi has got back passes. It's lap three, I remember. Definitely lap three as we uh, take a little bit of a little bit of a corner going through, going through the final corner. But we've now got the DRS, and uh, we easily get past Kimi Raikkonen. Well, so we thought, because Kimi brakes a lot later than us, and 
We can't afford to lose this position. We've got to defend our second place. And we're just going to run Kimmy out of the road. Like Lewis should have done to us actually on the first lap. And um, so we're back up into P2. But as you can see, Rosberg has absolutely bolted off. Um, there he is. You can just see him in the distance there through the, uh, the mist and the haze. Uh, as we can see on the cinematics, we're just breaking a little bit too late. Uh, Kimmy just drives, drives clean past us. Um, luckily we didn't uh, allow Valtteri Bottas to get through us. I don't think we actually did call the cut, to be honest. Um, urgency, um, we just got in the tow and easily kind of made the move up the inside. And I think with the inside line, we, um, we were always going to have the advantage. We were always uh, just going to run Kimmy out of the road. And we left him in, into the clutches of Valtteri Bottas, who, who managed to get past him. But Kimmy took the inside line and... Uh, took the place back um, as we now cut uh, later on uh, a lot, I think it's a couple of laps later we've made the same mistake we broke a little bit too late we're going side by side now with Kimi Raikkonen as we come towards the final corner but we have the inside line we're just going to take our normal racing line and Kimi um, well Kimi's on the outside he was always uh, two into one into that final corner it just doesn't go and we also got the DRS as well As you can see, we're going three, three wide into turn one, and here's a perfect view of it. So there's us pushing Kimi Raikkonen out onto the kerb, and the Astro turf. Lewis um, and Bottas get the DRS. Lewis is going past Bottas, and now has a look at Raikkonen. As Bottas goes past Raikkonen as well, as they now go into turn one, Vettel's thinking about going up the inside of Kimi as well. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they slot in. But Kimi does has a think of, thinks about braving it up the inside and it does work for him. Valtteri looked like he was going to slam the door shut and uh, kind of back down a bit and he's now uh, Bottas is now at the claws of Sebastian Vettel but we are, we've now got a Lewis Hamilton behind us as well um, but as you can see the rain is starting to come down a bit heavier I think this is our recommended pit lap with it, which is lap 6 yeah it is um as we run wide coming through there, we've now got Kimi Raikkonen behind us again. Remember Vettel and Hamilton on the prime tyres, they, they were going to go a little bit longer. And we're going to make a bold strategy call, we're going to come in for the intermediate tyres. Yes, we are pitting for Inters. Um, we're, we're going to take the gamble. Might work, and if it works for us, it, it's going to be brilliant. As it will really make our races, we make a mistake again into the hairpin of the... Uh, end of the longest straight in Formula 1 we're going to go side by side into the pit lane while the looks of it we break later than Kimi we have to turn out of, turn out of, the, out of the corner in the pit lane so we don't smash into the bard but we are ahead of Kimi Raikkonen and yeah uh, as I said we are going to pit for the intermediates um, mainly because the first ever race I did on F1 2015 um, it, as Daniel Kvyat as we get hold, held for the Williams but we do beat Raikkonen now um, I did a race around Australia and it was very similar to this and I pitted for primes uh, on the recommended pit lap and had to pit for inters a lap later. So I, using that little bit of knowledge I took the gamble of pitting for intermediates now um, and hopefully it can work, it will work for us. I can tell you we're the only car in the field to go for inters at the moment. As we come round uh, a lap later, everyone else just, uh, has it's... made their pit stop except for uh, Hamilton and Vettel who are still out there on their prime tyres. Um, but Rosberg has made a stop and he's so up with uh, Hamilton and Vettel. We've got a piece of team radio to... Rosberg is ahead of you. Nine seconds separate you. You're gaining by two seconds a lap. Seven laps to go. So yeah, we're gaining, we're gaining by two seconds a lap on Nico Rosberg and just a lap later, all three of the leaders, they are in for intermediate tyres. We are going to take the lead of the Chinese Grand Prix here on lap nine. Our strategy call has worked in our favour for now, but um, you know where the undercut has worked, we've gambled on the strategy, it has worked for us. And uh, as we uh, cut onto lap nine, it is so slippery, so greasy. As uh, we run wide and just trying to get back on the track, we get caught up on the curve on the AstroTurf and uh, have a bit of a dire middle sector. But the first lap or two on these intermediates, we did start to pull away from Hamilton and Vettel, who have jumped 
exclamation mark. Jeff, uh, uh, we did. Uh, they jumped Rosberg because um, Rosberg pitted for slicks, which was a mistake, uh, as we have proved. As we make it, as we then get on the curb at the end of lap 10 and uh, the car fishtails across the circuit so the conditions were really really bad and of course you've got to remember we pitted for these intermediates on lap 6 at the end of lap 6 start of lap 7 Jeff shut up um, as well as uh, Hamilton, Vettel and Rosberg all pitted two laps later so they've got um, two lap fresher tyres than us and uh, Hamilton just started to close the gap as we make an, as uh, we lose the back end going through the double left handle with Gary and going across the grass. As you can see there on the tyres, they are looking pretty worn. Uh, DRS has been disabled though uh, at the moment, but by the time we cut onto lap 14, the final lap, Hamilton has closed a nine second gap. The track is starting to dry out, DRS has been enabled once again, but we were struggling so, so much. The tyres, as you can see, they're ruined. They're absolutely shot. The temperatures going through the tyres are crazy. And going on to this final lap, we have about a two second lead um, over Lewis Hamilton. But as you can see on the mini map, it's probably a little bit less than two seconds as we got a, as we can see Lewis Hamilton in our mirrors. But we in Malaysia, we should have had a podium and we let it slip right at the end. And uh, I, there was no way I am planning. I was planning on losing out on this victory today. As we come through, uh, start coming through the middle sector now. The, the grip through here, the understeer. Look at the understeer coming through the, the right hander, and we're just losing so much time. And we've got Lewis right behind us now. He's right behind us. He's right on our gearbox as we're struggling so much with grip. We're desperate, desperate, just to get the power down, get the traction that we need. But Lewis, Lewis has got those fresher tyres, and in that Mercedes, that Mercedes that had so much pace in Nico Rosberg's hands at the start of the race, as we run a little bit wide, it doesn't cost us. Look how we're having to jockey the steering wheel, jockey the power, coming through um, the long right-hander. But Lewis just isn't close enough, I don't think. We've got a good run onto the straight. We're going to stick it. I think we're already in rich mix, but I think we're just making sure we had it in rich as we come down now. Just get our braking zone right for this penultimate corner. We get it right, and we still managed to understeer why I just missed the gravel. And now we've got Hamilton right all over the back of us. He's going to look to the outside. I think we're going to run him out of room. Yes, we do. And that means we're going to come to win the Chinese Grand Prix. <laughs> for Daniel Ricciardo and one that I think he'll remember for a long long time. Congratulations to him and the Red Bull team. It was a brilliant performance and when you drive like that the feeling of winning is even sweeter. That's it for today's Grand Prix and from Ant and I it's goodbye and see you again next time. So yes Daniel Ricciardo we have won uh, just about by, uh, from Lewis Hamilton and, uh, and Sebastian Vettel who made a brilliant strategy call then it was Rosberg, Raikkonen and Bottas, Jensen, Button, Grosjean, Verstappen and Massa. Good points there. Our teammate though Daniel Kvyat did retire. Um, he made two stops. I think we were the only the only uh, people to make a one stop in that race and it's moved us up within 21 points of Lewis Hamilton. We are second in the drivers championship. Uh, our teammate uh, da drops down to 8th as we jump ahead of Sebastian Vettel. Red Bull, we're still 41 points off the Mercs and we remain 3rd with 57 points. Thank you very much for watching. I do apologise for my voice. The commentary was probably pretty dull th than what it normally is, so I do apologise for that. But um, please comment, subscribe, smash the like button on Daniel Ricciardo's first win since the 2014 Belgian Grand Prix. And until next time, guys, I will see you around. Goodbye.